Hey Colts, it's Mrs. Aladdin here with your weekly announcements for the week of January 5th through the 8th. First off, welcome back to a brand new year. 2021 is going to be the best year ever, and we're really glad to have you back on campus. I also want to extend a special shout out welcome to about 25 students that are back on campus with us for the first time this school year. We're glad you're here. If you aren't sure where to find things or you have any questions, just ask a, a friend in your class or an adult or your teacher. We're happy to help and make you feel welcome and successful. All right. First, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. Ms. Shima is a, um, a paraprofessional educator on our campus. She works in the F building, um, and she works with all kinds of kids in all grades. So let's get to know Ms. Shima a little bit. All right. Well, hi, Ms. Shima. Thanks for being with us. Hi. Good um, morning. Tell us a, I'm doing well. Tell us a little bit about what you do all day. Well, I come in and I get organized for the day. Um, then I see students and help them with reading, writing, and math. And after winter break, I will be helping students after school in an intervention and in tutoring groups. And we're really, really excited that you're helping us out yeah, with that. So it'll be great. That. That's gonna it's going to be, be great. What's your favorite part of your job? I love working with elementary school kids. That's my age group that I enjoy. I really love when they've been working on a subject that's been difficult for them, but they kept trying and they kept at it and then it clicked and they get it and it makes sense to them. And I love that we can celebrate those little successes. That's my that favorite you, part. I love that you love to celebrate the successes because sometimes yes. it takes a little extra work, right? But when yes. they get it, it's just the best thing ever. It's the awesome. best. That's yeah. so great. Tell me about your favorite book. My favorite book, I brought it to show you. Um, my friend Shelley Hoover yes. wrote it. Yes, Shelley Hoover was a principal at one of our other Glenn schools. Glenn Edwards, right? yes. Wow. Um, it's called Timeless Sisters, Peace at the River. You, I'll, I'm going to loan it to you because it's amazing. I would love to read it. And it's about three women that were born in different time periods but lived in the same town, and they connect at the river on their journey to find peace. Oh. Oh. It's really good. I've heard good things about that book. Mm -hmm. And I've met Miss Hoover before, so I would love yes. to have the chance to read that. That's so yes. special. Wonderful. Thank yes. you for sharing that. I with love us. that book. Tell us something interesting about you, Mishima. I love to be creative. So I love to sew and do arts and crafts and bake. Um, I love right now we can bake all the Christmas goodies yeah. and give them to our family and friends. That's Delicious. my favorite thing. I love to be creative and look at something and try to make something out of it. Cool. Do you have a favorite Christmas cookie recipe that you like to make? Um, yes, I, it's, it's not a cookie, it's a candy. It's uh -huh. just like pecan clusters. Ooh, delicious. That's yes. one of my favorites. I'd be happy to taste test those. Okay. Oh, de <laughs> definitely. I will have to share. For sure. Well, thank you for your time and thanks for all the work you do on our campus. We really appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Make it a great day. You too. Thanks, Mishima. I really enjoyed the book you lent me over the holiday break. All right, we have some, uh, just a few, but some special birthdays to celebrate this week. Please join me in wishing a special birthday shout out to Zane F., Jacob S., Owen C., Aria F., and Alina A. L. Let's give them a sparkler cheer. Sparkler on three. One, two, three. Bravo. We hope you have a wonderful birthday celebrating you. All right, let's take a trip to the Colt neighborhood and visit Miss St. John. Last week, we thought a little bit about problem solving. Let's see what Miss St. John has in store for us today. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the neighborhood. Last week, we learned how to be mindful of how to solve a problem. This week, we're going to talk about how to be mindful of goal setting. We are just starting a new year, and a lot of people use the beginning of a new year as a time to set goals for the upcoming year. Have you ever set a goal but didn't achieve it? Have you thought about why the goal wasn't achieved? Well, a lot of times we don't achieve our goals because we didn't make a plan. It's almost like we thought it would just happen magically. We wanted magic to happen without having a wand. Today we are going to discuss how everyone can have a wand even if, you're an, if you aren't a magician. So let's wave our magic wand. If you could wave a magic wand and achieve something, what would it be? So what goals would you like to set for yourself this year? We don't have a magic wand, but we can set goals to achieve magical results.
So for our wand, W stands for when, A stands for assess, N stands for need, and D stands for details. So let's go through each of these. When, when do you want to achieve it? So you're gonna set a deadline for your goal. How will you assess your progress? So it's kind of asking how can it, your goal be measured? How will you know when you're done? N is for need. What kind of help or supplies do you need now or along the way? And who can you ask for help? D is for details. What other details need to be included in your goal? So there is your wand, when, assess, need, and details. So there are different types of goals. Maybe you set an academic goal. An academic goal is something you want to achieve related to your learning. For example, you might set a goal of wanting to read 15 books at your reading level by winter break. And there are also social emotional goals. Social emotional goals are something you want to achieve related to the way you relate, relate to others or how you feel about yourself. For example, maybe your goal is to make three new friends this school year. Or maybe your goal is to say one positive thing to yourself each day this school year. There you have it. You have all the ingredients to have a magic wand. So go ahead and take your wand, set some goals, and make some magic happen. Well, that is all for now from the neighborhood. Until next time, have a great week. Thanks, Ms. St. John. All right, I want to share with you something special. Perhaps you've seen this before, but it's worth another look. It's a, a trailer for our musical theater group's production that they're putting together all online. So these students are working online and um, singing and dancing and doing all these amazing things. And Mrs. Adams is putting it all together into a show that she's going to produce on YouTube. So let's, let's watch the trailer. And later this um, winter in February, the whole thing is going to come out and you can enjoy it with your families. All right, Colts, that's the end of our announcements this week. I hope you have a magical week uh, full of all the wonders of a new year. Remember, this is a new year and the choices are all yours. Be a good friend, be a great Colt, and remember, it is a great day to be a Colt. Bye, everyone.